Hey guys, welcome back to Mustang Diaries, my series on the training and transformation of two wild Mustangs. The Mustangs have recently moved to the barn where my domesticated horses are. Today's video is going to be a day in the life showing you their new routine. Hey guys, so I'm on my way to the barn. Um, as you know, the Mustangs just moved to my barn with my domesticated horses. I've been doing some pretty intensive training with them. The big reason for moving them was to be able to have their first farrier appointment. So that's kind of a big deal. And I'm just trying to prepare them the best I can. So I've been working with them every day, all day, pretty much. And I thought today would be great to do a day in my life. It's unseasonably warm, which means I can actually use my, uh, my phone to record footage. Often when it gets cold, my phone will just shut off. So I think today is a great day to film this and show you guys what this week has been like. Come on. Good dog. So Scotty comes with me to the barn every day. He's the barn dog. This is the barn cat. Hello. Hi, baby. Hi, honey. <laughs> All right, so first we're gonna feed the horses and then I'm going to let this one outside. I have um, two of my horses outside who they so graciously gave up their stalls for the little Mustangs. Right, Frida? Okay, so I just fed the horses inside and now I've gotta go feed the horses outside. Misty man, look at the mud. Look at the mud. Okay, I just gave the Mustangs some hay. Now I have to go put this hay out for the outside horses and then turn this girl outside. Once I finished with the outdoor horses, I went back inside and grabbed Frida to put her on the cross ties. This has been a big part of our routine this week, just getting them both on the cross ties as much as possible while I do various chores around the barn, um, just to get them used to the barn life. And after cleaning Frida's stall, I switch out horses and halter Libby to get her on the cross tie so I can then clean her stall. Like I said, I'm really trying to get them ready for their farrier appointment, and I've got several days to do this, um, which is why we're really doing, just trying to get them as acclimated as possible to this barn, um, because we're already having adding a new handler and a new um, scenario with him working on their hoofs, so I don't want any of these other additional things, such as being in the barn, being on cross ties, to be a problem for them. So I'm basically trying to pick up their feet with every transition, um, whether that's in or out of the stall, and I'm doing it as often as possible, so I'll be doing it a bunch today. And I'm also, I forgot to record it, but I've also been trying to hold their um, legs and hoofs in different positions to get them ready for the farrier, um, putting them in the various positions. Baby, are you sleepy? Are you sleepy? It's so amazing how much she's changed since when I first got her. Tired baby. Oh, tired Mustang. All right, so I'm on my way with Libby. We're gonna go have her first session and do some ground driving. So once I got to the arena, I actually ended up taking her stuff off because it looked like she was wanting to roll and I totally would have let that happen because I think she deserves to have a little fun. And then we introduced the ground poles. It was fun seeing her get a little excited there because that's not something I see a whole lot coming from her. Then we moved on to ground driving. You can see I'm kind of giving her a pre-cue with leaning forward like that before I cluck. So this is probably her third time wearing a bit. She's still pretty new to it so is adjusting um, to what it feels like in her mouth. But overall she's doing really good for this session. Alright, just finished. The session with Libby here and we're gonna go I have to go run an errand so I'll do Frida once I get back so I refilled Libby's water um, before I left for my errand it's funny I put the bucket in and then I had to splash it for her so she knew that there was water 
And then I gave them each a flake of hay and then headed out for my errand. This is what a farm vehicle looks like. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so I'm on my way. I have to go to Staples to print and sign something. I gotta go run this before the end of the day. And then I also have to go to the feed store and pick up some more shavings because let me tell you, Libby especially is a stall trasher. Um, so I'm gonna go do that. I always feel so weird going into stores like this. <laughs> yeah, I definitely got a lot of looks. Um, there was this girl next to me. I don't think she appreciated <laughs> me being next to her. I definitely smell like a barn. Pretty, pretty bad, but such is the life. I don't need anything other than shavings, but I always get sucked into like going down these aisles. Maybe I'll try some um, some treats now that the Mustangs are starting to get a little bit more curious. I grabbed a treat for the horses and then a treat for myself. I mean, come on, who can resist maple candy? And then I headed back to the barn. All right, so Frida is up from a nap see and now we're just gonna let her run around the arena and play a little bit and then maybe we'll do some work you have beautiful eyes baby beautiful eyes okay you ready go ahead uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh Theodore she's cute she's like a fantasy way too real for me better just admit And then my friend Liz came over and I got her to do some basic handling with Frida just to help prepare her for that farrier visit. They're sweaty. They're sweaty. It's good though. Because I haven't gotten exercise like this since like... It's so fun for them. I know. Like like, um, right? So then after brushing, uh, Liz moved on to picking up Frida's feet and doing all four legs. <sighs> Well, you do have weird hoobies. These are weird hoobies. Yeah, these are tiny. Aren't they? This is like, this is like she's a baby. A baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bye boy. Their feet have actually worn quite a bit. Um, just this week, just be on this like pavement or something. Ooh. But they still need them done. So then we switched out horses and went to Libby. Liz hasn't done a lot of work with Libby this far, so this is, I think, their first or second time. Here they're working on targeting. I found that targeting is a great way to introduce new handlers to the horses, so I plan to use this in the future. Oh, she's so pretty when she looks like that. Sometimes it can be a little tricky getting the treats in your pocket. Jeez, get together, Liz. <laughs> So after Liz left, the lighting was so spectacular, I just had to get a few pictures of Libby.
go get Frida for session two. So to keep her the routine, I put her on the cross ties again and picked up her feet, all four, cleaned them out. So because the Mustangs need their feet done and their hoofs are pretty rugged, they have a lot of different grooves and crevices and early on they had thrush so I've been treating them now preventatively against this thrush. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. And then I got a little carried away with the chores, it's easy to do, but I just cleaned out Libby's stall there and then prepared the grain for the evening chores. Alright, second session with Frida. <laughs> She's just following me around. Um, I'm not really going to do much work with her again today. I'm really tired, so I'm just going to let her run around. Where's the light? There it is. I'm just going to let her <laughs> run around and play. I think it's so funny how much Frida seems to enjoy jumping. It's not even me asking her to jump. She's just choosing to <laughs> go over that jump. After letting her run around for a little bit, I decided to try um, asking her to target my hand, so to come into me. And it was so cute. Oh I loved watching her come running oh up God. towards me. Free to target. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, so we just finished about 45 minutes just playing in the arena and yeah, just making Free to move. I feel really bad. I don't like when my horses are in stalls, so. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna put her away and then finish chores and then that is a day. At this point you probably knew that picking up and cleaning out her feet was the next thing on the agenda. So of course I did all four of her feet again and then did my evening chores. In the daytime Frida is stalled next to Libby, but at night I put her in the stall next to one of the adult horses who she's become real good buddies with. Misty and Theodore are my two personal horses and they stay outside overnight so that Libby and Frida can each have a stall. All right, so I just fed the outdoor horses and now it's time to head home. Scotty is, <laughs> look at him. He is so ready to go home. You ready to go? Let's go, let's go. <laughs> All right, lights off. Good night, everyone. <laughs>